Today we're doing my June favorites. I'm just sitting here like every month I feel like I'm gonna say the same thing. I can't believe this month went by so fast. But I really can't. I'm sitting here like, oh my God, we're, we are in summer right now. And June was a really crazy month for me. My Pomeranian Delicious, he turned a year old. That's me and Nate's son. <laughs> and I can't believe he's already a year old. I'm sitting here like, you know, maybe at the end of the year I might want a fourth dog. I'm just such a dog person. If there's any other crazy Pomeranian lovers out there, if you have a fleet of dogs like me, please leave me a comment and show me your dog somewhere on Twitter. I don't give a fuck what it is. I just want to stare at Pomeranians all day long. Besides that, I have been on the Vans Warp Tour. Of course, I will be back out there next week and all the California dates in August. So we've been on a tour bus. Nate's been staying home and watching the house for me. All this traveling, my skin is like, fuck you, bitch. So <laughs> I've just been really trying to moisturize and get like used to all these crazy climates. Besides that, life has been really crazy. I cannot believe this year is half over. My mind is like, <sighs> so I have a lot of cool launches coming up for my brand. I have my whole summer collection coming out. I have a new eyeshadow palette coming out in the fall, more liquid lips, and of course, you know I can't stop. So right now I'm actually designing and finishing everything for spring 2017. The makeup world is crazy. So I am excited to announce that I will be creating a highlight and contour palette. The release date, I can't tell you guys not yet, but it's coming and I'm really excited. It's different. There's a lot of shades and um, get excited about it. So besides that, I'm gearing up to leave for Bora Bora in like three weeks. I'm so excited. I have never been there and of course you guys know I'm gonna film the entire trip for my channel my Hawaii vlog with Nate did so well I'm like okay let me do more for you guys so I'm definitely gonna be investing in a new camera I'm just trying to up my lighting game as well and always try to improve for you guys since you're the one watching me and I do this for you so besides Bora Bora I'm just like oh my god I I'm doing favorites now this is so fun so the May favorites thank you guys for showing that so much love and let's dive into June I'm gonna dive in with a highlighter. I'm sure you guys are like, <laughs> but I am wearing the highlighter that is in my favorites. Now I see a few other beauty gurus and YouTubers that did not like this product, which shocked me, but I am gonna talk about the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Highlighters. I mean, look at this packaging. Now this is a silver one. I've already opened up the gold. I've been wearing it for weeks. I wore it in my video with Nikki in the Rolls Royce and look at that fucking blinding light of heaven. These are sold exclusively at Sephora and I think on her website. Now Pat McGrath is one of those makeup artists where whenever I get asked in an interview like who is your makeup inspiration or your makeup idol and I never really have an artist in mind except Pat. She is phenomenal. She has killed the makeup game for years and she's such an innovator. Like everything she does is so different and like thinking outside the box, try times 10 when you think about her. So when she came out with a highlighter, first of all, I needed a fibrillator because I couldn't breathe and I almost passed out when I saw these. Now the packaging is really amazing. I think it's really cute. It's like in this little sealed hologram bag full of sequins. When I first saw this, for a second I'm like, do you crush up the sequins and then they're a highlighter? And I'm like, okay, let me get over my clueless moment. Now these are $72 which are a little pricey for some people and they're like bitch you got the wrong one but they do come with this highlighting brush and they come with a balm and a stick so basically it's like a highlighter stick on this side and this one is creamy I'm just gonna show you guys a little swatch right here BAM so it's like a cream balm and you can put that on your cheeks I like to apply it with a beauty blender and then this also has a clear one which this is very for like Artist. So if you want to put this on your lid, on your cheeks to look really glossy and sweaty, like you just had a gangbang, this is amazing for that. It also comes with, of course, the highlighter. Now, I saw a lot of YouTubers talking shit because they thought the packaging was, you know, a little dingy and shitty. Now, honestly, Pat McGrath, I fucking love you. But I did expect a little bit more from this because this is the same component like an e.l.f. $3 highlighter comes in. And obviously, you know, I love e.l.f., but I was like, girl. So besides the packaging, the product itself, that's why it's in my favorites. Do you see this cheek, bitch? This is why I'm obsessed. So this brush is perfect. You just swirl it around after you put on the balm and then... It's just blinding. It is so pretty in the daylight, and I've seen a lot of people wear it recently. I know Bretman Rock wore it when we were hanging out at the Fame Expo makeup convention a few weeks ago, and I was like, oh my god, and I hadn't worn this yet, and he wore it, and I was like, 
Why, why have I not tried that yet? So it is one of my favorite highlighters right now and I'm addicted. Now another makeup product that I've been obsessing over and using a lot off camera is this brand called Suva Beauty. I've talked about them before. I mean, this product, obviously you guys are probably like, Bitch, what is on your eyelids? These are called UV Hydra Liners. Now these do glow in the dark and they are so bright. I decided for the first time in about five years to not wear false lashes. If you're like, oh my God, why do you look different? It's because I wanted the liner to have its own moment. This liner needs its own damn video. These are water activated and there's 12 shades. There's different finishes as well on their website. So this little guy is $10.99. So of course, as I said, these need water. So I like to use a tiny little pencil brush and this is from Smith Cosmetics. Perfect for liner. So what you do is you wet this and you have a little bit of water in there. You mix it around and then voila, it's like, hi there, bing. So I highly recommend them and these do not budge. I'm like, hi there. So I'll be wearing these all summer long. Last makeup product of my June favorites is the Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced. Oh, listen. When I tried this on camera, I was like, okay, another concealer. Every brand has it. Obviously, it's all about the formula. So when this hit my fucking eyes, I was like, okay, I, I see they're not playing games. Now, this with a damp beauty blender or an artiste brush, wing! Like, it's just amazing. I don't know what exactly is in this. I know there's magic and there's coconut water, but let me tell you, this is unreal. Now, my skin type is very normal, but I also used this on my friend the other day, which she's very oily, and this worked amazing. I think I'm gonna say this live on camera. This is my new favorite concealer. Now, I've talked about this, I've used about this in a lot of my videos. This is my favorite pre-primer, and I'll explain why I say pre-primer in a second. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I think this little bottle is so cute. Now, I wish you guys could smell this through the screen. It is so fresh. It just has that skincare scent. It comes with a little lid for sanitization and voila. Now what I love to do is I'll take a damp beauty blender and I just like to scoop some out and I will coat it on my entire face, which I've done in a lot of videos. And this is good for any skin type. In one of my videos a while back, I said it wasn't, but I was actually mistaken. Slap me in my face. This is good for everybody. It's just, it's been my go-to for a long time. I discovered this when another makeup artist did my face and she used this and I was like, damn, that shit is really good. So it's just been in my kit ever since and I'm obsessed. All right, now my last skincare item for June is, voila, the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Mask. I'm sure you guys are not surprised. Now, a lot of my friends that are YouTubers were like, oh my God, that sponsor video is so cute with Manny and Nate, and I'm like, no one sponsored me, bitch. If I like something, I use it, and I want you guys to try it and see if you guys like it as well. So, no one paid us to use these masks. I am just a fan of the brand, and when the owner sent me a care package after she saw me using her stuff, I was like, oh my god, this is like the best thing ever, because, I mean, hi, I, I'm obsessed with these. So, this mask is perfect for tightening and just looking all around artificial. And I love the color, I love peel off masks. So this is just one of those items, you, it's a must have. Let's dive into some fashion. Now, I am a sunglasses whore. I know I've never done a skincare video yet, but let me give you one tip. When I'm driving in the car, when I'm walking outside, when my skin is even near the front door, I have sunglasses on. Now, I'm trying to never have crow's feet. I am just trying to, you know, never age. I'm all about anti-aging now. Skincare is not the only thing you can do for anti-aging. Wearing sunglasses is a big part of my regimen for being youthful. Now, I found these glasses on Instagram. This is from a brand called Acne Studios. A lot of the times when I'm really high late at night, I'm scrolling through, I'm looking through the Jeffree Star Cosmetics hashtags to repost everybody, and I'll stumble across so many dope artists and so many people that just have really cool stuff and you know I find a lot of stuff that I've never heard of before which where this comes in now these are sunglasses if you've ever seen me do a snapchat rant or just keep it really real you'll probably see me in mirrored aviators or something crazy these guys are un 
real. I love big glasses. Now, when you don't have eyebrows like me, you sometimes can't wear straight across glasses that just don't translate. So when I found these, I was like, ooh. When I got them, they came in this big box. You open it up and the sunglasses come in this leather case, which I thought was really cute. And it has a little jawstring. And then there they are. Now, of course, I had to get the matte black. These are like, hi, Terminator. I was so T, girl. And then I saw these ones. And these are the ones I actually saw on Instagram. And I was like, ooh, that mirror, those look conchy. Now, these retail for $430 each. Now, I don't know if this brand is big or not. I did some research and I saw some people doing like unboxings on YouTube of like some of the clothes that this brand made. So, I don't know, I like to support things that I see online and I think this is sickening. Now, as you guys know, I am a handbag collector. And in June, I found a new love for little bags. Now, usually I am like a big bag person. I'm one of those people where if you have to dive in, you have everything from lip balm to hairspray to setting spray to maybe even two wallets and sunglasses and more setting spray and, and lipsticks and makeup and an inhaler and a pipe. Girl, I like a big bag. But when I'm traveling and I'm on the go, sometimes I like to just have a little, you know, little purses. So the color pink is really hard to find in fashion. Like pink goes like that. So I found these two bags, which, oh, oh my god, my camera is like, holy shit, bitch! Now, this first one is a little Givenchy bag. This is perfect for, it's like going on the airport. It has a strap, which I love a strap. And the second bag is from Balenciaga. I love them. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen these bags everywhere. They're all over Instagram. They come in a billion colors. But neon highlighter pink? Oh! Okay, so I love these for traveling. I brought this on Warp Tour for a few days and it was perfect for just a little on-the-go bag. So small little bags might be something I'm starting to become a little more in love with. I'm scared. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the last part of the video, now what happened last time? Last time, apparently, we uh, brought a little too much cannabis into the picture and, you know, I guess YouTube was like, yeah. okay, 15 seconds, that's great, but any longer than that, we're gonna flag the video, which we don't mind. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's the rules. But um, we're back for another segment of what's our favorite strain. So of course, if you don't like marijuana and you just wanna go have a beer, bye. bye. Fast forward. We uh, <laughs> we like to try out a lot of different strains. So we, you know, we try mostly sativas because most of the indicas are more sleepy. We don't smoke a lot of weed before we go to sleep, but when we do, we just want something that's gonna put us to sleep. Very relaxing. Yeah, you know. So I think we found a really, really good strain that is so relaxed. You're just like melted on the couch, mm -hmm. really focused. I'll bang out like 60 emails and, oh, watch, yeah. and watch a movie. <laughs> and what's it called? It is called Gorilla Glue Number Four. Yeah. Now I don't want to get flagged again, so we're just not gonna show everything. <gasps> oh my god, but it's so pretty. The whole background of the the Gorilla Glue name is basically it glues you to your couch. It's Allegedly what it uh, stands for and it's actually really good to have sex on All right, everyone that concludes my June favorites now I'm just sitting here like okay There are so many new makeup products out if you want me to try any new products that you have discovered that I haven't yet I know there's a lot of dope stuff on Etsy and there's so many brands and everything is just like it's so overwhelming but um, let me know what you guys want me to try. Do any more first impressions videos. I love doing those. Now that we are diving into summer, I'm gonna go put on some setting spray, go get some cinnamon delights, and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys. Mwah. Damn it, it's June. No. <laughs> <coughs> Today we are doing my June fi blah, 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 blah. Today we're doing my June I can't speak English. You drone more more blah, 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 blah. I can't speak English. Namas huh, Nama crow's feet. I don't know what that is yet, and I hope I blah, 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 and I hopefully never will. I'll be fucked. <laughs> <laughs>